As if we weren't worried enough about the Heartbleed bug making computers vulnerable, now there's a new threat. Anyone using the Internet Explorer web browser could be at risk. Security experts say it could allow hackers to take over your computer. CNN Samuel Burke joins us now with all the details. Samuel, I think it, I think we've all seen the TV shows. This is sort of everyone's worst fear that someone, some, somehow someone's going to remotely gain control of your computer. Um, how real of a threat is this? Um, you know, how vulnerable are we all? Does it matter if we just getting on Internet Explorer? Does that open us up to this possibility? Well, Maggie, it's so serious that now even the Department of Homeland Security in the United States is advising people to not use Internet Explorer for the moment. They estimate that a bit more than 25% of the world uses Internet Explorer. But I want to be clear, just using that browser doesn't make you susceptible to this problem. It's if you use version 6 through 11 of Internet Explorer and then you click on a phishing link. Phishing is, of course, when you click a link that you think is your bank's, bank's website and then you enter your information there, but it's really just an imposter website that looks like your your bank. I just spoke to the CEO of an important uh, cybersecurity firm here in Israel who told me that this problem will be patched on Internet Explorer uh, in the short term. The long term is really the people who are using Windows XP. Corporation typically try to keep up with the new version uh, but individuals like you or I at home might have an old uh, Internet Explorer XP version and that means the vulnerability, if it confirms it exists, will be dormant there. And it may be one day you're going to forget about it and you're going to actually click on that link and then someone will want or will be able to exploit uh, what is there to exploit. So, of course, Windows XP is not being updated anymore, so those users won't get that patch. This is really significant because it's the first time that something major has happened and Windows XP users are just going to be left in the, in the dark. The Department of Homeland Security is, is advising that those people with Windows XP switch to other web browsers like Chrome or Firefox, Maggie. So there's your solution, the easy solution. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the question. Does this mean that we, if you're if you're operating in an old computer, that you need to go buy a new computer? I mean, is that is that what you need to do in the meantime? Because you know, the idea that someone can take over your computer, this is serious stuff. So in the meantime, use one of those other browsers if you're still on Windows XP because you're not going to get the fix uh, this week or next week. And then if you have an older computer, you could do one of two things. You could go out and buy a new computer or find out if one of the newer versions of Windows, like Windows 8, will work on your computer. Upgrade. That's what Microsoft wants you to do. Your computer will be safer. Microsoft will have a bit more money. But you, too, will also have a much more secure web browsing experience.